My name is Sally Barton Tryon, and my father, Benjamin Barton, he was a very wealthy businessman, and actually he built this building, which back in my day, in the early 1800s, was the most beautiful, the most elegant hotel west of the Hudson River. And many very famous people stayed here. Charles Dickens. The woman who sang. Jenny Lee, oh, the Swedish Nightingale. Many very famous people stayed here. And when I was a young woman, I would always go to balls here. And I'd always wear a beautiful new dress that Josiah's little wife, Mary, designed. She never did charge a lot. I don't know how she and Josiah ever got by, but it seemed like the less they had, the happier they were. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lewiston was such a gossipy little place back then. Still is. It hasn't changed at all in 200 years. People used to gossip about me and imagine that. Oh, yes. My husband Amos decided one day that he was going to build a mansion for me down on River Road. Well, I refused to move into that mansion. There was no way possible that I wanted to live way out on River Road with that godforsaken quiet. My presence was needed in the village. People depended on my counsel during marital strife and personal calamities. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. Well, let me tell you something. The balls that Sally used to was telling you about, they took place on the second floor here. Yes, and music could be heard coming out of those windows and into the street whenever the swells were gathering for a party. But today, just recently, Mayor Terry Colazano reminded us that at that very last window on the right, on the second floor, late at night, if you're walking down Center Street and look up there, you could see a woman dressed in an elegant white Victorian gown, dancing alone in the window. And when she turns to face you, she'll have no features on her face. No face? No face? That, that is one of the ghosts that haunt this building. Oh, there are many, aren't there, Catherine? Well, there are a few. There are a few. And the one Sally's referring to, I think she thinks I had something to do with. But I, okay. Well, Two of the workers, when the building was being built, came down to Hustler's Tavern for a little lunch. Ah, and when they came back here, they were working on the roof, and one of them fell to his death. The other one, afraid he was going to get fired, picked up that body and put him in the cellar. Now these walls are 18 inches thick, plenty wide enough to hold the body. Mama. And he plastered him over. And there that body stayed for decades. Now we know this is true because 61 years later on his deathbed, their worker confessed. The man was on earth and he was there.